Let's open. I think I'm having a stroke. Grab the children. Thought I was ready to die. Right. Heart beating like a drum. How's Doc Gaston running dope through town? The forces bagmen are collecting. Here. They always take the money back to a stash house somewhere. I'm too old to run. And you know now I call the shots. I think I'm having a stroke. Grab the children. So much blood. Look at all the blood.
about to get it. Oh. Hey, who this guy? Um... Hearing about a lot of dead dealers, the ones that are that are finally talking, saying Doc got stones in the system beneath the Big Mouth Jazz Club. You're not gonna try to convince me to let you arrest him, are you? If I wanted to arrest him, I wouldn't have let you be a part of this. Justice might be blind, but it shouldn't be stupid, too. Go do whatever it is you're gonna do. Sure thing, detective. You lured out that hippie asshole Gaston. You gonna go deal with him? told me to reach out. I certainly appreciate some help with the phone. I'll be happy to take care of that for you. for you. Target 
Tommy in the war. You got it. We'll be around shortly. Look at all of us. Like the sound of that. Hot shit, that was a good one. Got your attention now? That's him. Let's go. That was goddamn slick, I tell you. Two bills for the man who snuffs this fuck. Running for cover! He got me pinned! Get around him! Got nowhere to go! This can't be happening. <laughs> Get your man over to the French ward. I need backup to lock this down. Good deal. You're making the right call coming to me to secure both rockets. You won't be sorry. Uh, Capo. That's when he turned his sights on Sal Marcano. Listen, it's like I said before. It's the same off who ran over in Vietnam. You want to bring down the dipshit in charge? You target their men and infrastructure. Eliminate their ability to fight back. And before they know it, they're standing there all alone. Ass hanging out in the wind. Name for your judge, Cornelius Holden. He just made a call to Luke.
first elected him to the Fifth Circuit in 1951. There's something else you should know. Those two men are Lamont Harris and Trey McCall. They were killed by a man named Hollis Dupree. Yeah, I heard he gunned them down when they showed up to his house asking for help. Hollis claims he was in self-defense, said he thought they were there to kill him. Cornelius is the judge that's presiding over the trial. So killing him might kick up a lot of noise. <laughs> Cornelius is an entitled southern asshole. Killing him is going to do a lot more than kick up some noise. Hopefully, it'll send a message that is long past the time that those cocksuckers went extinct. That's the car down there that Lou is talking about. That thing armored? I pulled the work order for it. It's a complete custom job. Tough as hell. It'll take a pounding, but it won't be impossible. Cornelius is scheduled to leave any time now, so this is your window. You follow a set route? Not since the trial started, but he still makes a stop or two on the way home. So, you can either hit him then, or go after him when he's driving around. All right. And watch out for the cops. I need a supply run out to the French Ward. We are directly. Excuse you. It's on me in the ward.
all units. Search is called off. Repeat, abandon search. Return to patrol. <laughs> If you're ready to move against Lou, get in. I gotta beat him. You wanna hear Marcano tear Uncle Lou a new one? Lou Marcano was bribing a district judge named Cornelius Holden, is that correct? Sal Marcano spent a lot of money getting Holden in his pocket. A lot of money. Judges like that don't come cheap. And with Holden out of the picture, Sal had to find someone else to legalize gambling. And that person was State Senator Walter Jacobs. That's right. You had one fucking job, Lou. Now it's to keep holding him one goddamn piece till after that room. What was I supposed to do? He wouldn't listen, Sal. It ain't my fault. Ah, uh, nothing's ever your goddamn fault. I swear, if you wasn't my brother, I'd clip you myself. Now listen here. I know a guy, a state senator named Jacobs. He's on the Revenue and Fiscal Affairs Committee. <laughs> Has a lot of influence. Can we get to him? Already have. He has a thing for fucking on women who ain't his wife. I don't want to twist this guy's balls out of the gate, you understand? We need to be smart about this. Yeah, 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 of course. Uh, how about I throw him a fundraiser on the riverboat? Show him a real nice time. Get him laid. All that shit. This goddamn casino got me tapped, you understand? This goes down to shit or we're fucked. All of us. Well, I'll pick the guests myself. Make sure they know what's what. Then we'll take a nice long cruise down the bayou. Get them all liquored up. Once he sees that payday, Jacob is gonna do whatever we want. <laughs> Lou Marcano knew everyone. I mean, politicians, merchants, lawyers, bankers. He insisted on being called Uncle Lou, and was basically the Santa Claus of the French ward. According to the police reports, Mr. Marcano and Mr. Jacobs were killed during a fundraiser on a riverboat. The thing about the bios, it's a very big place. You could blow the living shit out of everything in sight and no one would even notice. <laughs> Ready to go when you are. Assume you already mapped out where the riverboat's gonna go. Lou's pretty fastidious about that kind of thing. Always follows the same path when he goes cruising through the bayou. Doesn't want anything to happen to his beloved Delphine. <laughs> gonna be the least of his problems. You recon the area? There's an old coal dumper that they have to sail past. I've already got it rigged to blow. You just need to connect the primer cord to each block and then set it off. Detonator's down by your feet. All right. Isolate and kill. Lincoln Clay specialty. What's wrong? Eh, it's the boat thing, isn't it? Not saying it is, not saying it ain't. <laughs> you need to get over it. You were on what, 40, 45 PBRs in country? 52. That's not the point. You don't know what it's like to get onto a boat knowing full well the damn thing's gonna sink. It gets old, man. Look. You blow the coal dumper, boom, it hits the boat. Then you jump on board and kill Lou and those other assholes. 50-50, you don't even get wet. 50-50? Well, 40-60, but still.
3070 at the worst. Upstairs. You're fan out. Watch the rest of the boat. This sure shit wasn't an accident. Realize we I'll have to get on now. this boat, right? 
That's far enough, you wop asshole! What the fuck, Lou? Take another step, me bitch. Can you think I give a shit about some politician? Please! Please, I, I don't even know what's going on! Hello, Lou. Listen, I got money. You can have it. All of it. Just don't kill me. I don't want your money. I want you to send a message to your brother. Yep. Anything. Oh, just say it. Just say it. <laughs> Lord Almighty. Walter Jacobs was killed this evening in a fiery explosion aboard a riverboat. Local businessman Louis Marcano also lost his life, along with dozens of other wealthy donors there to attend a political fundraiser. When Lincoln left his gutted body on a statue commemorating Andrew Jackson, people were horrified. I mean, how could that be anything but a political statement? Lincoln once told me he couldn't telling the other cheek that the world doesn't work that way. <laughs> I spent the better part of 40 years trying to prove him wrong. But I was just lying to myself. Look at how we treat each other. Compassion is a sign of weakness. But greed is a virtue. The poor is considered morally corrupt while every excess of the powerful is celebrated. We sent kids off to die. For what? So someone can make a few bucks? Lincoln was right. He was always right. <laughs> he ain't never gonna be another Dr. King or Bobby Kennedy. But there's always gonna be another Sal McConnell, another Sammy Robinson, another Lincoln Clay. We are a cruel and wicked people. Lad, your last chance to make things right between us. The city's in our hands now. Everything goes through us. And yes, Burke, I understand that you feel like I've wronged you. That was never my intention. That said, I hope you understand that I need to hear from everyone before I make my final decision. This is where we're at, pal. If for some ungodly known reason you still want that goddamn Mick around, then give him the fucking turf so we'll quit his belly aching. Take a stand here, Chucky. Square it up with me. 
I stuck around this long when I could have turned you over to Marcano with one phone call. You gotta reward that kind of loyalty. You cooked things up this far, but you can still make it right between us. You got no idea how long I've been dreaming of this moment. I hope we can get things back on track, Burke. But we're not gonna do it with this part of the city. Vito's gonna call the shots there. Thanks, kid. I spent most of my life getting fucked by one asshole or another. And what we got going here is a real future. Ain't no one fucking with us anytime soon. I know none of this has gone quite as smoothly as we would have liked, but you've done something real over these last few months. Changed this town in a major way. And I'm proud as hell of you. Fuck. Fuck! You know how long I've been waiting for someone to stand up and be a man of his word? And in all my fucking days, you, Lincoln Clay, are the first motherfucker to do it. Thank you. You've done a hell of a job, Lincoln. Couldn't have done a better job myself. Probably. Cassandra was a hell of a woman. It's unfortunate she let her pride drag her down in the end. Failed to see the bigger picture, but I still admire her spirit. Not one goddamn step of this has been easy. But we've made it through. And there's not a cocksucker left in this town who don't know we rule the streets. Who'd ever thought I'd end up with you two motherfuckers? Need someone to get this cash out. I'm running low on all kinds of shit. Can you help me out in the bayou? Going at you. Hang tight. All right. Better not. You let me know. Let me see what you got. Our business is done. You know how to find me.
wasting any time, are you? Your little rampage is going to attract attention. Attention from people I don't care to associate with. Yeah, imagine not. Thankfully, closing off your loose ends is as simple as tossing around some super grade. <laughs> with any luck, this will keep them off my ass. For a little while, anyway. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. There's still the matter of killing Georgie and Sal. You should get a kick out of hearing this. Goddamn motherfucking piece of shit! Lou's dead. They found him tied to that statue of Jackson over in the French ward. He was gutted like a goddamn catfish. Jesus fucking Christ. This was that goddamn nigga Lincoln Clay. We would not be in this fucking mess if you'd done what you were supposed to do. You would, yeah? I shot him right in the fucking head. How once! You shot him once! I am leveraged out the ass! Called in every favor, and none of it made a goddamn difference. We're fucked. I am fucked. Oh, now that's bullshit. We still got some men. I say we hit the streets and we found that cocksucker. Every low life ball of piss in this city spills blood in the water. My blood. Do you understand? And they'd step over their own mother if it meant being the one that clipped me. I wouldn't last ten fucking minutes out there. That's a crock of shit. You forget? You are Sal Marcano. Well, there's got to be something we can do. Call whatever men we still have left. You tell them meet us up there at the casino. And when Lincoln Clay shows up, we're gonna do everything we can to plant that goddamn nigga in the ground. Right next to us. That's what we can do. Go on, get the fuck out of here. Go! Should have known that Marcano would go to ground at the casino. You can take the bridge up there so it's a straight shot. You know, none of this would have happened without you. It's either this or right away in some goddamn office. And once you've killed those assholes, you come and find me. I'll be hanging around over at the Padres.